Kate and welcome back to Just Kiss My Frog. If you haven't been before, Just Kiss My Frog has been a thing for about six, seven, eight, eight years. And it's a place where I, Lena Norms, talk about books, poetry, politics, and pretty much anything that affects our day-to-day -day lives as long as it isn't boring as fuck. I struggle to summarise what this channel is. And because I struggle to summarise what it is, I often deprioritise it in my head. And I think that's linked to another thing I struggle with, which is trying to explain why I'm living, like what is my manifesto, what is my thing, and I always feel so excluded and so um, not enthused and so turned off by the idea of live, laugh, love. I feel like loads of people have these, these kind of phrases that explain their life, you know, people have like a thing like every moment counts or this too shall pass. I never had a word or a phrase that I wanted tattooed on my body or that I wanted to live by until, until a few years ago when I rewatched one of my favourite films, The Holiday. <laughs> Now I've got somewhere really important to be and you have got to get the hell out. Now! What exactly has got into you? I don't know. But I think what I've got is something slightly resembling... gumption. I finally got gumption. I don't know why this stayed with me so much. But I just got really attached to this word of gumption. I just wanted to talk to you about it today and what it means to me. So gumption sounds like a silly word. It sounds like you've stepped on something squishy and you're in a state of not being able to take it off the bottom of your shoe. It sounds to me awkward, British, eccentric, and just a weird word. And then I looked at the meaning of it and I was like, that is exactly, explains exactly what I wanna be doing. Kate Winslet in this scene doesn't have something as simple as bravery. She doesn't uh, discover something as simple as truth. She find something in between and she calls it gumption. The dictionary definition of gumption is to be shrewd and spirited and I love both of those things together in one. To be shrewd is to be astute, is to show sharp powers of reason and judgment. And to be spirited is to be full of spirit, of enthusiasm, of energy, of dedication and of being determined. I think when I try and think about what I wanna be, I, I wanna be a rational optimist. I don't wanna sit in this spiritual camp that I think I used to sit in of like, everything's fine and everyone loves each other. And I also don't wanna sit in this camp of, don't you know we're all doomed, it makes sense on paper. And I think that explains a lot of what I want my content to be like going forward. It's really helped me as like a word to keep in my head sometimes when I'm struggling because gumption isn't something that you in inherently are. It's, it's, it's something you've got. It's not like when somebody is brave, they've like built it up over a long period of time. They're expected to be it afterwards and they almost, own this title of brave. Like it feels like this kind of Katniss word that you you are this huge character that can do anything. And I, I never ever feel like that. And I think some people think that I do. And it's just not true. Like I doubt myself every single day. I always have a voice in my head that's like, who do you think you are? What do you think you're doing? And this idea of gumption um, is something I love because it, it it's just a moment to moment action. It's just a, you don't have to be brave all the time. You don't have to, it's just, it's just, you have to have a moment. It's asking of you one decision. You can't say I'm gumptious. That's not a thing. You have to say I have gumption. I'm doing this with gumption. And I love that. On that note, I wanted to talk about something exciting that I'm working towards being able to offer you guys. So I've been making content for free on this channel forever. And I love that and I wanna keep doing that. And also some of you might know that I am working towards releasing a podcast called I'm Not Being Funny But Cover Release Here, what? Um, that is gonna be up in the next few weeks and I'm working on releasing that. But I've also been inspired by Amanda Palmer and this book, The Art of Asking, which I bloody love, um, to think more about what resources I can use. How can I make this sustainable, involve more discussions, involve more people, take more time over things. And what Amanda Palmer does is talk about the, this idea of being looked at and being seen and I think the perception of YouTubers uh, when the traditional press first discovered them was like they, they're things to be looked at, they're things to be studied, strange new species to be put in jars and stared at. I think some YouTube creators have been affected by that and have started acting in that way, a way that means they want to be looked at, they want to be inspected. It's Q&A about themselves, it's vlog about their day, that's really cool but without that bigger framework of, of wanting to be seen and not just to be looked at, it, it starts to mean nothing. And I wanted to create this space for a long time with Patreon to gather together some people who wanted to take ownership of this idea, make me accountable for it and, and help me to grow it. She says, when you are looked at, your eyes 
can be closed. You suck energy, you steal the spotlight. When you are seen, your eyes must be open. You are seeing and recognizing your witness. You're accepting energy and you generate energy. You create light. One is exhibitionism, the other is connection. I think there's a lot of shame around asking for help and I've certainly for the last nearly eight years been trying to do this on my own. And while I've been supporting other creators on Patreon for years, I've always felt bashful about having a page and not really pushing it and not really knowing what to offer you guys and, and what to give you back. This word recently, gumption, really helped me to clarify what I wanted to do with that page. So for those of you who don't know, Patreon is a place where you can tip creators for the things they make and help them keep making it. And I always felt weird being tipped myself as me. So instead, what I've done is turn that page into something called the Gumption Club. There will still be completely free videos on this channel as frequently as they have been before. But if you want to join the Gumption Club, you can give a dollar per creation, which is like 70, 80p in UK money. You can cap it per month so you're not paying more than your budget. For instance, I support Dodie and Mary and Danielle and I give them a dollar per thing, but I think I can only afford to give, say, five dollars in total per month, so I cap it at five. And after the fifth dollar they post, I finish my payment. I don't pay anything else that month. Being a member of the Gumption Club is something that I want to be a really exciting thing. So not only can you join a secret Facebook group with only other Gumption Club members in where I will be chatting all the time and posting previews of things, asking your guys' opinions on stuff and getting you all to meet each other. There is also a free exclusive download of a poetry collection I've put together, which is just available for the Gumption Club at the moment. It's in audio and it's called The Plan Maker and I'm really proud of it. If you like my poetry videos, I hope you will like that too. At the end of the 40 Days series, I did a live stream and I really enjoyed it. So I'm going to be doing a live stream just for Gumption Club members every month. And I'm also gonna be running a book giveaway of lovely feminist or cool books that I like and sending them to one Gumption Club member worldwide. There's no doubt gonna be loads more fun clubhouse things that we can have fun with, but this is just a way to come and sit in a tree house with me and chat about life. I'm really excited about the way that I've resolved that issue in my head, because I think it's been an issue and an anxiety in my head for about two years. So if you'd like to find out more, I will leave links everywhere so you can explore more about joining the Gumption Club. More importantly, I'd love to hear your guys' words or phrases that you think do actually symbolize your life, something that you might want to get tattooed that kind of explains a lot for you. My word is gumption, but I wanna hear yours. Thanks for watching, much appreciated, and I will see you in my next one. Frog Smug out.